Hello and welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I'm here to give you another reading. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying, keeping your vibrations high. No matter what is going on around you, try not to let it get inside of you. If this is your first time visiting this channel, I welcome you. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you so very much for your love and support. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. So we're just going to see what Spirit has to say for Scorpio Collective. Please take what resonates with you and whatever it is that, you know, it's not your story. It's okay to leave that. Spirit, what is it you have for Scorpio? What word do you have for Scorpio, Spirit? Oh, this is nice. It's too long. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio? Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio? Sadness and isolation. Hmm. So this may not be everybody's story. But again, it starts out this way, but it doesn't mean that we're going to end in the same place. This may be just how you're feeling right now. You're feeling alone. You're feeling sad, maybe. Again... Sometimes being isolated is not necessarily a bad thing because when spirit, when God wants to work on you, for the most part, he needs to remove you from your situation. So that way he'll be able to speak to you. He can minister to you because when we are in crowded environments and a lot of things happen in our life, it's hard for us to hear from God. And so sometimes, because we don't, and then hmm, when you're chosen, people leave your life. So you may feel sad right now, and especially during this season. But let me tell you, this too shall pass because Spirit, Divine God, Jesus, is working on the family for you, the divine family for you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Because even though you are sad and isolated, you see, you are still in the presence of spirit. You are covered. You are protected. Spirit is taking good care of you. So this is only for a season. And this is to show you may be the black sheep in the family. Right now you may you may be the one you're feeling like I can't relate to these people anymore. And as a result, you're separated. You separate yourself, you isolate yourself, keeping a low profile to allow spirit to work on you and that is okay that is okay you may feel a little sad but that's just the 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 part of you because you're missing the people the things that you're familiar with but better is up ahead it's like you're using this as a springboard to your calling to your future to what is in store for you. That's beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we have release. Release. So maybe it's that right now you are releasing toxic, negative people from your life. And so you're alone and you're isolated. Spirit, what it is? you have please clarify sadness and isolation for Scorpio 
Mm. You're detaching. You're releasing. You're letting go of everything in your past that does not serve you. It does not resonate with you anymore. And you may feel odd and out of place, but nothing is wrong with you. This is a transformation that you're going through. I know when you're going through this, you will think you're crazy. People around you are going to think you're crazy too. See, teach at the bottom of the, desk, the deck. Spirit is preparing you for something bigger, something greater. I don't know, maybe in this community, maybe to teach uh, Sunday school, maybe, you know, to be a counselor of some form. But that's, that's why you're detaching. This is why you're feeling that way. People feel as if you're out of place. You feel weird. I know the feeling. And trust me, it's okay. This too shall pass. This is like you're going through the valley of the shadow of death. But you're fearing no evil because Christ is with you. Love abounds. Love abounds. Spirit is with you. Is working on your heart, number one. You're starting over. Heartache. Again, the sadness, the isolation. But nonetheless, now you are able to see people for who they are. The relationships that you have in, in your life. Are they serving you? Are they causing you more harm, more setback than it's doing you good? So you're looking at every single area of your life as far as the people who are in your life. And this is what you're letting go. You're releasing detachments of negative oops, or toxic people in your life. You're going to learn to share the love. You're going to learn to share the love. Spirit is healing your heart. Isn't that something number three? Three, share the love. Your heart's been broken. And it's like Spirit is saying, give it to me. I can make it whole again. I can make it whole again. And you see now, now you come back with a new revelation when this is all over. Because as I said before, now you're, you'll be able to see people for who they truly are. Everybody in your life, what purpose do they serve? Spirit, clarify. Sadness and isolation. Release what no longer serves you. Mm. Move. Move. Is it that you're moving to a new place? Because sometimes we can be moving physically. Picking up and moving to another location, another state, another city or town. Or is it that your heart, emotionally, you're shifting. Because you see that these things are not helping you what you're engaging in. And seems like you're unwrapping. You're unwrapping your heart. All the things that entangle your heart. That tied you up. You gave yourself to things and people that no longer serve you. And so you're moving on. You're moving on. Wow. That's powerful. Spirit, what do you have for Detach? For Scorpio? Detach. Spirit wants you... When you're finished, you're going to be a leader. You're going to be a teacher. You're going to be a boss. You're going to be a CEO. You're going to have power. You're going to have authority. Your life is going to be stable. You're confident. Just allow spirit to work on you. Like I said here, detaching 
back here looks so sad you see all the gloom it's like walking out of a tomb but this is a new birth a new creation see spirit has more in store for you than what you think you have now when i think back at people in the bible like moses david they were isolated for a long time because god was allowing them to work on their craft work on themselves work on that base chakra your foundation your sturdiness spirit is working on you everything is becoming new he's making all things new i see number one number three spirit is working on you your foundation a firm foundation a fresh start a fresh sorry that's too many a fresh set of family a new tribe for your life there is work for you to do oh wow healing begins guys healing begins you see wow you're releasing this looks like her right you see the transformation oh i'm getting the chills by the time spirit is done with you do you see this your heart will be healed you see the green chakra there your base look at you you're like your royalty this is like having a makeover surprise mm. i told you you may start out sad but it doesn't mean you're gonna end that way nothing is wrong with you it's just that in order for spirit to elevate you maybe you have been praying seeking answers what is my purpose what is my calling and spirit is doing this giving and receiving right another six spirit is going to put people in your life who are going to be more giving to you because maybe you're a giver so you see all these helpful hands the different colors is like healing of the heart the throat chakra these are all the things all the blessings that you will be receiving when spirit is done with you all of these everything that you need for your next journey in life will be done everything will be inside of you you will be that high priest or that high priestess everything that you need he already provided you will lack nothing all things will be made new for because i know for sure that spirit father god he takes care of his own i know that for a fact oh this is beautiful guys take the lead take the lead take the lead healing begins now you'll be able to take the lead Whew, dreams coming true see you're receiving everything see sometimes see god tests you the enemy tempts you and sometimes he has to see what is it you're willing to give up for you to walk into your abundance i mean this is crazy sometimes i think i've said it before on a video if you want to know if people in your life are good for you look at your money because sometimes as soon as they leave you see doors opportunities start coming into your life and so in order for you to come into all of this abundance joy and stability you had to give up 
some things but believe you see that but what is up ahead is greater the fulfillment is greater i love that dreams coming true wow answers so you will get the answers to your questions work-wise you find unique ways to stand out you find a new opening with job security as well so your answers will be coming in movement you'll make good progress now and you will be able to overcome any obstacle in your path big leaps forward are possible dreams are coming true wow that's awesome that's awesome scar this is our season transformation death and resurrection and i i i know i just feel it that this time around this year a lot of us are just sick and tired and sick and tired and i hear that song if you can use anything lord you can use me you're sick and tired with the way your money your relationships your work life you're just tired spirit one more card to close it out one more card to close it out signs signs you're putting you are putting together pieces of the puzzle from signs you're getting pay attention to the coincidences you experience so you may think they're only coincidences like we're seeing all these numbers one 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 six 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 four 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 you may hear music somebody may just so happen to say something to you and that's exactly what you were thinking about pay attention to the signs spirit is answering your prayer spirit is answering your prayer scarps pay attention to the sign i told you in the beginning weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning joy comes in the morning i certainly hope you made it to the end of this message and if you do score please i'm asking you to support the growth of this channel by hitting the subscribe button giving the video a thumbs up i am so proud of you and let me tell you you will not regret this you will not regret this thank you for watching and see you next time